Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Dino Crisis on the PlayStation 1. I'm recording it all on VHS. Last time, we went around and got attacked by some pterodactyls, and, uh, yeah, they tried to throw me into a fan, but it was he who ended up in the fan. Fwahaha. <laughs> also, we did some pipe-solving puzzles, and now this terminal is activated, so I can use the big ol' elevator. There we go. <laughs> it just occurred to me this is going to be a boss fight, isn't it? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Finally, we have access to the elevator outside. Good. Now we can head straight down to the underground. So you saw the beast, right? Yeah. Pteranodon, wasn't it? I meant you saw that it was a real dinosaur. It's unbelievable. Didn't I tell you? This is just like that movie. The Carrying Out Room, Basement 1. Regina! We have to hurry. Tom's not going to last much longer. I'll clear a path by moving these containers. You just keep an eye on Tom. Please don't make me do this under duress. <laughs> uh, I can't be open. Okay. That's neat. I regret a lot. <laughs> okay. Ha-ha! I happen to have a control card, once I can remember how to inventory. Oh my... no... <laughs> Oh no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Two right, one down, one left, two up. Hook and release. Which way is which? All right, cool. Hmm. All right. I misread where the uh, hook was. Okay. He's only being able to go... Oh, 
Jeez. I'm just having a really hard time visualizing where this is going. And I can only go left one step? Alright. Left, up, down, hook. It really does not help that I record these things kind of late at night, so usually I'm kind of tired doing this, and that does not does not make for the best uh, the best time trying to solve puzzles. I feel like I'm going to regret doing that. Especially since I could have just done... Eh. Eh. Alright. Here. Here we go. No. Don't. Don't. Let's go to right. Hook. To up. Release. That's a path. Hopefully there's nothing hiding in this little maze. Will do. Concentrate on the mission and leave the rest to me. Right. gives you any more of his bull, be sure to beat him down for me, okay? Do -do -do -do. The dead man has a memo. Today's to-do. Prepare the DDKs needed to enter the laboratory area. Tomorrow I have to go to the computer room to do maintenance on Dr. Kirk's computer. But I think I left a DDK at the large size elevator control room when I went there yesterday to do the elevator maintenance. I'll have to check it later today. As for the other DDK, I think the rookie guy Tom, who was recently assigned to the laboratory area, has it. I'll have to borrow it from him. I have no idea how that jerk approached uh, Kirk, but he seems to have gained his complete trust. It's weird how nobody knows his past history. Hmm, yes, quite. And dirt, mm. Hallway for carrying in materials. I would like to know which where am I? <laughs> Alright. Okay, right. Both these doors lead into the same room. Okay. Alright. Everything's fine. Hey, look at that. Hmm. 
What a shortcut. Yes, let's let's keep enough hemostat. He's dead, Jim. Man, they got so far ahead of me. Okay, so a thing that might not be apparent because God, this, this oh jeez, oh no, nope, nope. Rick, he's dead. It's not your fault. Yeah. I'll be in the control room. Bar. Anyway, um, so yeah. Oh, hey, an ID card. Card data may be over and do, 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 do. cool. It's Mumu, the address to the doctor on duty. Yes, I will, but first. So, a thing that. This game came out in 1999. 90s. So it was a big time for dinosaurs because you had, you know, Jurassic Park, which was kind of a big deal. Like a really, really big deal. So much so that they made a sequel, you know, The Lost World, which had some things, like tiny dinosaurs, and those scenes kind of made an impact on an entire generation, and that includes me. So, I guess, like, if anybody younger ends up watching this, and they didn't, like, grow up with, you know, Jurassic Park being there, and, like, seeing those films then there's like uh, uh, there there might just be a disconnect that doesn't immediately cause worry when you see these dinosaurs i mean there's just like you know before the lost world i didn't know anything about tiny dinosaurs that you know can tear you apart because they're like real mean tiny chickens but boy howdy after watching like the opening scene of the lost world you're gonna remember that <laughs> especially if you see it when you're kind of young Anyhow, let's read this memo. Dr. Sherwood, the ID card on the desk belongs to one of my patients. Please hand it to Colonel Clay when he shows up. He told me that he was going to hold a meeting in the strategy room on the first floor to make preparations for tonight's experiments. Please make sure to hand the card to him since one is required to enter the strategy room. Nope. Sorry, mate. Can can I have his gun? Like he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Hmm. Tiny Lux, you say? Hey, there can be things on just random stuff. Like that plug. <laughs> yes! Hooray! Saving. Saving is cool.
Mm, right. Copies. I am facing north, straight out of a door. Do do do. You know what? I have a ton of plugs right now. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Can I put... Yes, I can. Neato. Okay, so, you have five continues to beat the game, but then the resuscitation items seem to be just, like, extra lives. Um, mm, there's a lot of just stuff I am carrying. Create, mix. Mix with, like... If I mix two recovery aids, does that give me like a healing item? If I then mix, if I mix a recovery aid and a medium healing item, does that give me a bigger item? I think it might. If I mix an aid with other things, then I can get stuff. Jeez. Nope. All right. Do, 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 do I... Will I regret this? Probably. That's fine. Did not realize that those were stairs on the map. But I'm glad they were. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What? Oh, I don't see any signs of Doc here. Thanks. Picture of the underground area. Right. Need to do an ID card. Considering saving, um, let's see, I need to get back to that big room. Oh wait, no, don't need to save, everything's fine. Oh, I want to go up here. Real quick. <laughs> so the still have no idea where the L door is. Um, they hint at, in the manual, that it might be a good idea to, you know, use those force fields and other such things. 
that's that's I don't want to go. Oh no, my gun! Please, please stop. <laughs> oh god! Good gravy! That was ridiculous. Welcome to the bad corner. It's full of things what are bad. Right. I keep forgetting. It's this type of game. So we have two registration numbers. We've got Mark Doyle and we've got Paul Baker. One can get to the physics lab. One can get to the stabilizer room. Supposed to like find somebody's hand? Where am I going? What am I trying to do now? I need an ID. Well, I have an ID card. Access type of colon. Colonel? Colonel? Whatever. Anyway. Cool. We can actually go there. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's... That was very silly of me. Okay, so we need fingerprint data in order to rewrite the card. Later, loser. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go ahead, make our save, and then next time, let's go to that door. <sighs> Not where I wanna go. I wanna go back this way. Save. Perfect. So, yeah. Next time we're going to go head towards that door and actually, you know, hey, I have an ID card. I don't have to actually rewrite it in order to use it. Welcome, welcome to the regular world. Anyway, I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Thank you very much for joining me and dealing with me, you know, trying to solve puzzles well tired whoops um <laughs> have yourself a lovely evening <laughs>